Hi guys, welcome to another lesson. Today we'll be talking about the Kingdom Monera under the classification of living things. So we'll be talking about the characteristics of the Kingdom Monera and the, the organisms found under Kingdom Monera and the phyla found under Kingdom Monera. Let's go along. Now, Kingdom Monera consists of the simplest living organisms. So the organisms found under the Kingdom Monera are the simplest. They are very, very simple organisms in their organization. Now, the examples of the organisms found under Kingdom Monera are, one, bacteria. Bacteria is, is an organism found under Kingdom Monera. Another one is the blue-green anabaena or the blue-green blue algae. So, blue-green algae is also found under Kingdom Monera. So let's discuss some general characteristics of the organisms found under Kingdom Monera. What are the things observed in a, a particular organism that makes us know this organism is found under Kingdom Monera? Number one characteristic is that they are prokaryotes. Now, what do we mean by prokaryotes? So a prokaryote is simply an organism that lacks a distinct or definite nucleus and also lacks other organelles due to the absence of internal membrane is a prokaryote. So a prokaryote is just simply any organism that doesn't have a defined nucleus, a nucleus that you can easily point to that this is a nucleus in this cell. So organisms that do not have a definite nucleus and membrane bound organelles, that means organelles found in the membrane are prokaryotes. So Organisms found under Kingdom Monera are prokaryotes. Another characteristic of the organisms found under the Kingdom Monera is that th these organisms do not have mitochondrion in their cytoplasm. So mitochondrion is a substance that is found in several living organisms and is used for respiration. So the or organisms found under Kingdom Monera do not have mitochondrion inside their cytoplasm like some other living organisms do. Another one is that their cell walls lack cellulose. Instead, their cell is made up of their cell wall is made up of protein and fatty materials. So what we mean by this is that generally cell walls of plants are made up of cellulose. So the organisms in Kingdom Monera also possess a cell wall. But instead of their cell wall being made up of cellulose, it is made up of proteins and fatty materials. So that is another characteristic of organisms found under Kingdom Monera. Another one is that they are microscopic single-celled organisms. What do we mean by this? What we mean by this is that they, are, uh, they have a single cell and this single cell makes up the whole organism. So the organisms found here are single celled. Another one is that some are motor while others are non motor. What do we mean by motor and non motor? A motor organism is an organism that can move from one place to another, while a non motor organism is an organism that cannot move from one place to another. So we have some organisms under Kingdom Monera that are motor, we have some organisms that are non motor. Another characteristic of the kingdom of the organisms under Kingdom Monera is that they can feed both autotrophically and heterotrophically. So some organisms feed autotrophically. What do you mean by autotrophic feeding? This, as the name implies, it is the feeding on its own. The feeding by synthesizing of its own food. So when an organism synthesizes its food, that's an autotrophic feeding. What at the heterotrophic feeding? is the opposite of autotrophic. Organisms that feed heterotrophically feed on other organisms. They do not make their own food. So another one is that they reproduce only by asexual means. So the organisms found under Kingdom Monera do not reproduce in any other way apart from the asexual means of reproduction. So there are two types of reproduction. We have the sexual and the asexual. So the asexual means of reproduction is the type of reproduction that does not involve the fusion of gametes. While sexual reproduction involves the fusion of gametes. So organisms under Kingdom Monera 
reproduce without the fusion of gametes. Now let's discuss the groups or the phyla under Kingdom Monera. We can divide Kingdom Monera into two major phyla, which are Phylum Schizophyta and Phylum Cyanophyta. So we'll talk about the characteristics under each of these phyla. So the characteristics of Phylum Schizophyta, the, the features we notice in organisms found under Phylum Schizophyta that makes us classify them under this phylum. One is that they reproduce by asexual means and their asexual means of reproduction is binary fission. Binary fission, that is the, me the means or the method in which organisms found under phylum Schizophyta reproduce. Another one is that they have a cell wall which is complex. They have a very complex cell wall. That is another characteristic. And another one is that they lack cellulose, just like all the organisms found under Kingdom Monera. They do, their cell walls do not have cellulose, but it consists of polysaccharides and amino acids. Now, the organisms found under this phylum include the bacteria. The bacteria is a major example of organisms found under phylum Schizophyta. Now, let's talk about the characteristics of the organisms found under phylum cyanophyta. One is that they do not have flagella or other locomotive organelles, but some of them move by gliding. What do we mean by this? Flagella or flagellum, which flage flagellum is the singular of flagella. Now, flagellum is a structure, a whip-like structure that is used for movement in, of organisms, especially in aquatic organisms. So, organisms found under phylum cyanophyta do not have flagellum or flagella or any other structure for movement, but some of them, they move by gliding. So, they move by means of gliding. Another characteristic of this phylum is that they reproduce by cell division. So, they, they make new ones of their kind by dividing their cells. Another characteristic is that their cells contain chlorophyll, but the chlorophyll is not contained inside a chloroplast. Generally, plants contain substances called chlorophyll, which is used for photosynthesis, the making of food of plants. So the cell and this chlorophyll in plants is generally found inside a chloroplast. So the chlorophyll inside the organisms under phylum cyanophyta do not have chloroplast. They are just the chlorophyll is just found inside the cell. Another characteristic is that their cell walls do not contain cellulose. Their cell walls do not contain cellulose. Now, examples of organisms found under this group or under this phylum is the major example we have is the blue green algae anabaena blue green algae so with that we've come to the end of this lesson on kingdom monera next lesson we'll be talking about the protist that is kingdom protista see you next class